The Jewish holiday of Forum is coming up this week and some low country organizations are working to spread awareness about that holiday and the meaning behind it. This holiday is about the history of the Jewish people triumphing through adversity, which these organizations say is still very relevant today. Our Autumn Klein joins us live from the Center for Jewish Life in Mount Pleasant to tell us more about how this holiday is celebrated and how organizations here are spreading awareness. Good morning, Autumn. Good morning, Shelby and Katie. I got to speak with Rabbi Refson here at the Center for Jewish Life, who says that Purim tends to be a holiday that is lesser known by those who are not Jewish. The holiday, the holiday celebrates the survival of the Jewish people in the fifth century when there was an attempt to eradicate the population, but the holiday is all about celebrating with those around you and spreading joy. One major tradition of the holiday is to give gifts and help those who are less fortunate. Rabbi Refson says this is an integral part of the holiday as it is about remembering the Jewish survival and triumphs, but they must recognize that there are people today who are still suffering. He says that the best part of the holiday is to give to others. Another tradition of Purim is to dress up in costume. Rabbi Refson says that they do this to hide their own identity to show their children that God is hidden in every moment of their lives. Rabbi Refson believes that these lessons and practices of Purim are important not just for those who practice Judaism, but for everyone. He also says that he believes recognizing Jewish suffering throughout history is always important, but especially right now with recent world events. So Purim is a wonderful holiday because it appeals to children. They get dressed up and they eat sweets and the carnivals and all of these wonderful things. Um, but especially now, it's an important message for the Jewish community but for the world at large, to recognize that yes, suffering has happened in the past, but if we have faith and we're strong, we will be able to survive and come out of all of these, all of these uh, tribulations stronger than we were before. The Purim holiday begins this Saturday evening and ends on Sunday, and many organizations in the Low Country are getting together with the community to celebrate. Live in Mount Pleasant, Autumn Klein, Live 5 News. All right, Autumn, thank you so much. And you can see some of those free Purim celebrations that are happening here in the Low Country. They're right there on your screen. On Saturday, there's a Purim spiel at Kahal Kadash Beth Aloham from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Plus the Chabad of Charleston's Purim celebration at Cooper River Brewing Company from 8.30 p.m. to midnight. Then on Sunday, there's a high-flying Purim family celebration at the Center for Jewish Life. That'll be from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. And a Purim family fun day at the Bend in North Charleston from noon to 4 p.m.